Hi everyone. By now you've received your DE0-CV board and we want to get started using it. You should have your package that has inside of it the DE0 board as well as a 5 volt DC power supply and a USB cable to plug into your computer. We're going to use that USB cable to basically power our device, to power our board. And so make sure that you have a USB connector into your PC. By now you should also have your Altera software installed and um, if you don't have a USB connector on your PC then you'll have to get an adapter. But uh, that's what we're expecting you to have and so let's talk about using your board now. We want to go ahead and use some of the resources that are available to us. <clears throat> One of the first things we have to do is to install the drivers so that we'll be able to program our board. We can find the drivers uh, within the software that we've downloaded from Altera. So I have mine stored, and this is probably where yours is, is stored as well. Under the Altera Lite slash 15.1 slash Quartus slash drivers folder, we have the file called dpinst.exe. This is the file that you're looking for, and you can go ahead and run that because that is your installation wizard for your drivers. So you click on that. Then you'll see that you have the installation wizard. So you can go ahead and run the installation wizard. Once you've run that, you'll see that it will find what interfaces you have on your PC. Notice that I have a USB blaster. You will need to have a USB blaster. You may have a JTAG interface. You may not. Uh, but you do need a USB blaster. You might also have somewhere it's unable to install interfaces that Altera thinks it might be able to use, but then when they try to actually connect it with their software, it doesn't work. So it's okay if you get some install failed, but you definitely need to have the USB blaster in order to program, program your board. So once you run the DP install.exec, your driver should now run. Okay, once we have our drivers installed, we can go ahead and program our board. If we've gone ahead and run one of our programs and uh, have our schematic capture set up, we've compiled um, all of the BDF files and we're all ready to go, everything compiled correctly, we can go ahead and program the board. We just have to click on programming the device <clears throat> and we can click on uh, hardware setup. Um, plug in your board if you haven't already, and once you've installed the drivers, um, you may have to run a hardware setup a couple of times, but if you run the drivers, it should find your USB blaster, and um, so there we have it, and now we can program the board. Notice up here, now it says USB blaster, and we're all ready to go. We add our files, finding them from our output files, our SOF and uh, it adds it to the programmer and we're all ready to go and we can program our board and it should program correctly okay have fun